Welcome to another Glen Tech video. Be sure to subscribe. We have tons of videos covering every part of website building, including a complete playlist on cPanel and much, much more. In this particular video, we're going to be going over the easiest way to install Zencart. And what we will be covering is how to download Zencart, how to access your new store, how to create a database, and much, much more. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to download a copy of Zencart. So if you just go to Google and you type in Zencart download, this is what will come up. And you want to download the latest version and you just click on it and follow the prompts and get it downloaded. So we already have it downloaded, save a little bit of time, and I stuck it in the folder Zencart. And there it is, our zip. So then we come over to our cPanel. Now, if you don't understand cPanel, you're not familiar with it, you know, don't worry, we got a complete playlist explaining every part of cPanel. And it looks complicated, but it's not. It's very user friendly, very easy to understand, and it's something you really need to be able to deal with a little bit if you're going to do anything with websites. So the first thing we do is we click on our file manager. And we scroll down and we click on our public HTML. And we're just going to assume you already understand cPanel. We're not going to get into how everything works. Like I said, we have a complete video list on that stuff. So here's a website. And this is a, a website I use for testing. So, you know, we're going to use it. Now, if you want your store installed under a .com or a .store or whatever you have, your name, it will be here. So in other words, if we go up one level, we can see we're back at public HTML. We click on public HTML, your store would go here. We are not. We're going to put it in a subfolder. We're going to create a subfolder because I have a lot of other stuff under this .com. And like I say, I use it for testing. So we're going to create a folder. We're just going to call it Zencart. Create a folder. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to put a slash. And there is nothing in there right now. So this is the way it will look. So we come back over here. And we're going to click on our folder. And it says our directory is empty. Now if you have a fresh clean website. And when you click on public HTML, it's going to be the same way. There may be one or two folders in here that are just part of your cPanel setup. But don't worry about that. You'll be doing right here what we're going to be doing in the folder. Next thing we do is we click Upload. We select File. And here's our Zencart zip. And we click on that. We want to wait for the thing to be get, get all the way uploaded. Then we're going to click back, go back. So here's our zip. So we highlight our zip and we click extract. Click extract file. Okay, it's everything extracted. Now we can click reload for things to show up. So now we have a folder here. Here's our zip and here's our folder. If we click on this folder, we'll see here is our store. We were in our public HTML, we would have that folder here. And we click on this folder, and then we highlight the top one, scroll all the way to the bottom, push Shift, and highlight the bottom. So we just selected everything. Then we're going to click Move. So you see here is our makeup, public HTML, the folder Zencart, and then that last folder we saw. So we're going to delete that last folder. And if you want it under your .com, well, then you want this right after public HTML. Then we're going to click Move Files. So there it's all gone. Now the directory is empty. So let's go up one level, and here is our store. So here is our old file that was downloaded. So if we click on that, you can see there's nothing in that file anymore. So we're just going to delete that. Skip the trash, delete. 
And the other thing we can delete is our zip because we've already uploaded it. So we're going to delete our zip. Okay, so now we're back over here and that is our web address. So we're going to reload this and we go to our Zencart page. So this is the first time installing, so we're going to click here. And it gives you warnings if something's not right or not correct. But most of the time this, you know, it'll give you this is, may not be relevant. You know, then don't worry about it. Just click continue. And if you have something there, you may have to contact your host provider and ask them about it because it's hard to say what kind of warnings you could have. But at any rate, that's what it's for. So we're going to agree to the licensing. And here it's just telling you the web address that it's under and where the physical storefront's going to be. Nothing here needs to change. It should all be correct. So we're going to click Continue. Now let's go into our database. So we have to create a database. So we go back over here and we click on our database wizard. This free STOR under slash is going to be what it is for our, that's uh, from our website. So that does not change. Then we can just create something and we're just going to name it something simple. Zen 10, let's try that. Next step. And again, it's looking for a username. So that would be the user. And we're just going to call it the same thing. If you want a, a different username like Zencart, Zen 10, and then your username is my store, then you would type something different. So the password, we're just going to make something simple. And it's going to be weak. Doesn't matter because we're going to delete this after it's done, but you want a, you know, a, a, a reasonably strong password and it gives you here and you can use a password generator if you like, just don't forget the password, write it down. But as you can see, ours is like simple. So we're going to click create user and we're going to give this user all privileges. Next step. And then we're going to return to our database. And let's see. Here it is. Free store Zen 10. See what he's saying? Okay, so then we come back over here to our install page. I'm sorry, we don't need that anymore. Our install page. So localhost is almost always the correct database host name and if it's not if it doesn't work again you have to contact your host provider and ask them what it is so down here it's asking for a database user so if we go back over here we can see privileged user and we called it Zen 10 but you want make sure you you got it correct got it exactly like it is here or it won't work so we need underscore Z-E-N-10. Okay, that is our user. Then it's asking for our password. So that is the password we put in there, and ours was really weak, if you remember, and the database name. So if you look back over to your database, you can see it just says database. That is the name you gave it. So we gave it. 10. So we can go back over here and we can type in. Then we come down to what says load demo data into the database. So if you click that, what will happen is it'll give you all the sample stuff. Some cases it's good because you can play around with it and see what it does. But you can also, if you'd like to install this store, once you see it's pretty simple to do, you can do it in 10 minutes. You can delete the whole thing and do it again. You can use a database to as examples to see what's going on. But if you're starting a store, I recommend you leave that unchecked 
because there's so many things in there that you would need to get rid of or delete or edit. It just makes it really confusing. So we're going to load it so you can see what it's like. In the store prefix, it says usually le best left blank or use Zen. Use Zen underscore and then a store. And that's just so you can separate the database and use a database. And then the SQL catch method. I always just leave it no. If you wanted to, you could use file or database and it will use it for catching. Uh, that is more detailed and you really need to do some research on it or like watch one of our other, other videos that get into the catch mode of Zencart. So we're not going to get into that de detail. You just leave it no and it'll be fine. So we click continue. Now it says it's creating our database. So we let that finish. Okay, so now we go to the administration setup. So I'm just going to use my name. And then it asks for your email again. I'm just using a fake email. Just you need to use a correct email if you know for this if you want. The next part is important. The important part is the password. So what I usually do is highlight it and copy it. The administration directory is going to be automatic, so we don't have to worry about that yet. But we click continue. Now it's telling us that there's an important security detail. Now you have to delete the Zincart install folder. That's the part that we just used to install it. So we're going to click on our dashboard. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't. It says warning, you cannot access until you have deleted the folder. So we got to go back to our C panel and we see the Z, ZC underscore install. So we delete that. And we come back over here and we can reload the page. And we're here. So the username, if you remember, the username was a name I put in there as the person. Uh, let's see if we can go back and you can see again. That's a supervisor's name. So that is our username. And then the password was that part I told you to uh, copy and paste this right here, the administration password. Then we click Submit. Now the first thing I would do is go over here to your account and reset the password to something you want. And there it says password updated. And this will give you warnings after a certain amount of time. It, it tells you to change your password so you come up with a new password every so often. So if we go back over here. This is a store we just installed. And like I said, we put all our demo stuff in there, but there's tons and tons of the demo stuff. What I was going to show you is... Okay, we need to reload. You see here is that funny name. Now that's what Zencar gets, gives you. And that's put part of a security thing. So whenever you want to log into Zencart, you're going to have to come up with that. So if I can show you here, that is the name. So it's just a generated username. But when you want to go into administration, you, you need that. So here's Zencart, and that's how you would need that code to get in to your administration, if I'm being clear. Let me show you here. So we click this, copy, and here we're in Zencart. 
And then after the slash, so it would be after dot com slash or your subfolder slash, you have to type that in order to log into your administration. So if we go back and delete that, reload. See, this is a storefront. This is what everybody sees. So what I was going to show you is if you want to rename that to something you can remember, that makes it a little bit easier. And it should be, you know, something like a password. But that way you don't have to remember what this is. So let's rename the file to store. We're just going to do it something simple. And we're here in our storefront. So let's reload it and I'll show you what's going to happen. Okay, now it doesn't recognize it because it's still using that name, right? So what we can do is we click on Store, Edit, and there we are. Now we need to type in our password that we made up. So this is the one we changed to, Submit. So we're back into the Administration panel. So this is where you make all your changes and, you know, you can type in your store name if you want, whatever you want, and your owner name, your email, you can change your, you know, uh, this would be like, as you can see, freestore.com. The other email you put in is something like I used a Gmail account that you can contact outside of your website. You know, contrary your address if you'd like, or you just leave it, leave it blank, and you know, so on. And then there's a lot of other things here. We're going to have videos covering every part of this. Subscribe, you know, and take a look at the other ones and figure it out. Zen, Zen Cart's a great program, and it's very user friendly. So I hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.